Hello there, welcome back to EU4 and playing as the Netherlands. It is 17.30 now. And I'm just trying to raise up another army, but apparently I can't build enough mercenaries for it. Enough, enough can't be supported. It annoys me. And I've got the manpower to do it by myself. Um, Den Haag can use a good training field. The rest of these places though, they're out of each other, I need manpower. Let's just build everything. Okay. A bit of war happening in Europe at the moment, as we can see. Still no windows of opportunity, however. Natives not assisting. Local native helpers are temporarily not assisting our fur trappers. This is leading to reduced production. Oh. Use 500 ducats. Okay. Wait a second, what was that? Sakalava are now allied with Savoy. Oh. Allied with Savoy, hang on. Foreign talent. Our dual masters stand in awe of the Munster armies and the methods they have so successfully employed to organize army routines and practices. We're not the only ones who have taken notice. Munster officers are in high demand in many countries. Of course, the Crown Munster, the Crown of Munster does not take kindly upon those of its officers that would seek to employment abroad and would likely disapprove if we try to entice any subject of theirs. It does not mean, however, that there are not individuals who would be interested in such a career opportunity if it made it worth their while. Oh, hi, the officers for four grand? Um, that has opened up a massive window of opportunity. One that requires my immediate attention. I'm getting an army back to the mainland. Oh. How much army does Savoy have? Whoa, they got a lot of troops. It's okay. Got a lot of troops as well. I can attack Sakalava, Sakalava, and then use that as my window to attack Savoy, and hopefully get these damn provinces that I want. I might have finally found my window. Coruscant is my new rival. Okay, it's an odd choice. Great Britain, want help with Sulu? Yeah, whatever. Let's build another fleet. For trading purposes. Five, five, five. Five, five, five there. What's that being built? 30 at the moment. Who else is good at building ships? You're in South Africa? No. I'm gonna build three there, two there. There's 40. There's another trade fleet. Okay. I'm going to bring all my army up to Europe. I'm finally going to attack Savoy. Uh, we're ready for a new tech, so let's grab that now while we're waiting. Uh, having tech 26 is separation of powers. 
An anonymous treatise on political theories emerged, and despite efforts to suppress it, it is quickly spreading across the world. It deals with the nature of forms of government, be they monarchies, despotisms, or democracies, and argues for strict separation of the executive, legislative, and judiciary branches. This will protect, and this will protect the people and limit the power of a monarch, which is understandably a very popular prospect for many of our subjects. Despite the unfortunate implications for the power of the monarchs, these ideas may well benefit our nation greatly. Yep, this gets me another idea. Alright, let's... Oh, they're pretty healthy. Let's get them to go back and get the other army. Uh, Diplotech 26 is the East India Man. The East India Man was the largest merchant ship built. It typically could displace in excess of a thousand tons and measure over 175 feet in length. Those queens of the oceans were the most efficient way of moving men and cargo around the globe. Big jump to colonial range, and set the growth, and two new ships. Profiteering in Deva Nuvara. The citizens of Deva, Deva Nuvara have grown tired of the local influence of greedy, also merchants that they claim are using unfair advantages to outcompete local businesses. They demand that we step in to limit the influence of foreign traders in the area and reaffirm the privileges of our own merchants and artisans. If we don't act, we might take matters into their own hands. Yes, we will protect our trade, always do. Colonial ventures. With the discovery of the new world, we've entered what looks like our greatest period of prosperity. Despite the immense wealth returning it to us, allowing Moritz III to finance one of the most outstanding armies in the world, we have not been successful in creating a strong naval force and his attempt to conquer the neighbouring states has so far failed miserably. We'll invest in naval force. Let's keep an eye on here for that fleet to return. And Miltech 26 is the Light Infantry Companies. Uh, first introduced to the Austrian Army's irregular troops from the military frontier during the Seven Years' War, Light Infantry Companies were deployed in loose order and proved to be very effective at harassing enemy and leading assaults on entrenchments. Increased land morale, increased combat width, and a lot of new infantry units. Well, a lot of new units in general. Offensive defense, the ongoing war led to some serious conflicts in Parliament. On one side there is those arguing that there is nothing to be gained by allowing the war to drag on, while others are convinced that there is no turning back. Unfortunately, their inability to come to some sort of agreement does nothing to improve our current situation, but rather the contrary. Oh, man. I'll go defence for now. Defence sounds better because I do have that idea that Abilio purchased for a massive improvement in sieging. Yeah, lots of units to pick from. I might go for the Frederican Infantry. I'll go for the Carabineers. And we've still got the Royal Mortar. Okay. I can purchase an ability. Let's go for the artillery damage in the back row increase. Ah, oh, I formed my own empire, I did do that. I have a large capital. I have a three-star general or admiral, and I own two. Oh, I'm doing a lot of boxes here, aren't I? Okay. Now, a new idea. I'll actually pause it for this little decision. I think I finished all that. I'm going to go for quantity. I'm going to go straight for it. Quantity. Done. Because the first one in quantity is Levee on Mass. We have up to now been very choosy over who should serve as a ranker in our military. We only took the poorest and most desperate, basically the people no one else would miss. Now though, we're going to open up the ranks to everyone who isn't rich. I took that straight away because it's a, a national manpower modifier of 50%, which I think I need right now. So I think I'm happy with that choice. Let's do a conversion while I'm here. Okay. These new ships are coming in. Huh. Great Britain's at war. 
Lundberg Province and Brabant. Austria. I mean, Ottomans. Ottomans are at war with Venice and lots of others, and Venice is actually beating back the Ottomans. How about that? Huh. What's happening in the world? Uh, my fleet has made it. An astonishing performance. Recently, a young female troubadour who has won fame across Europe for her unconventional music was invited to perform at your court. The sight of her costume prompted the entire room to gasp. Her songs had countless instances of thinly disguised innuendo references to unconventional sex acts. At one point, the Archbishop turned scarlet and stormed out of the room. The performance concluded and all eyes turned to you to hear your response. It's only 20 admin points. Five prestige. I'm going to say... Provocative and mesmerizing commentary on romance and gender in contemporary society. Let's make a stand. Alright, and let's chuck you guys on a boat. And would you also please come home? Okay. I don't know why I can't build this army. Hindsight, I should have picked a different idea. Should have got the available extra mercenary one. Oh well. What's done is done. Lacquer demand for lacquerware. Sakam had long lived off the locally produced lacquerware, but lately they have been forced to sell their products at reduced prices. This is due to the temporary whims of fashion or more permanent change, is hard to say. But it is clear their local trade is suffering. Okay. Yeah, really, actually. Should have thought that over. Should have gone for a different idea. Uh, advisor, let's go for. I'll continue Diplo Reputation. It's handy right now. And rather than Land Force Limit, I'm going to change this guy to Discipline. Still under my limit quite easily. You'll put. Your five ships. This and down here, they're all done as well. And there's the Sulu war done. Timber surplus. Growing trees for timber is a bit of an un unpredictable business, taking many years before a tree is ready for harvesting. The recent crop of timber struggled to find a buyer, and thus makes the business of shipbuilding timber easier. The wood will not last forever, and who knows what future supplies will be like. No. Timber ships now. I could have used that a while ago. Uh, there's five there. Where's my fleet? You know, they're coming around Africa now. No more luck by the time I get here. I won't be able to do it. All I want is these two provinces at the top. Those two there, Ghent and Vlanderen. All I want. I have been to Ghent. It's a lovely little town or city in Belgium. Get a new idea already. I get manpower recovery speed. Now the young can serve. How old does a boy have to be before he is a man? How old must he be before he can die for his country? Some rulers are squeamish. We, on the other hand, are an equal opportunity butcher. Increases manpower recovery speed. I might actually focus on military points now to really get these ideas kicking through. 
Over there, they're all done. They're all... They're all done. There's another trade fleet. Done? More importantly, my armies have arrived. It's a really safe place to put them. I haven't really got one. Okay, my newest trade fleet. Um, they can do... Cave of Good Hope, maybe? Lubeck's already done, North Sea's already done, Bordeaux's already done. Caribbean, perhaps? Hangzhou? Ivory Coast. Let's do the Ivory Coast. And away with you. Okay. Some armies have all arrived. The colony fleet is all repaired and ready to go. So I'm going to sit them here in the coast of Holland. Shit, Mecklenburg has ended. Whoa. Death Martian has just grown up. Getting a thousand manpower every month. I'm going to just keep that ticking up for a bit. What is happening here in England? Another conversion's done. Oh, so I should turn off. I'm going to save up some points for war. Just really save some points, turn off everything. Denmark's almost been wiped off the map, how about that? France is somehow staying on as a revolutionary France. I'd love if Savoy get dragged into this war somehow. Get Savoy dragged in to help Britain. Another question is, do I need to send a little token army to Sakalava? How much army do they have? That's not what I want to look at. That's what I want to look at. They have 18,000 troops. How much of these can I actually build? Transports down there. At least then I can send some army to Saklava. So I can still feign an attack. And get some war score moving. Has it always been dragged in yet? Nope. England. Oh, Great Britain are mobilising a big army. New trade research is heretical. We've had complaints from several dignitaries in our country that the new practices of our merchants are clearly heretical and that we should put a stop to them. Yeah, okay, whatever. No my luck, I'll probably attack these guys now and they won't join in.
Don't know who Maravai are. It's other ally. There's someone. I'll get all these mercenary guys together. Transport fleet isn't too far away. Austria is now the HRE leader once again. Well, that's a good thing for me or not. Top up relations just for safety. Alright, these guys are here. They're ready to go. Pause it there. So my mercenary army is ready to attack Sakalova. My goal, but my real goal, will be to take these two provinces from Savoy with all my troops up in the north. Hopefully, this will work out as planned. Until then, though, thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate your support. Hope to see you next time.